can multiple writer's notebooks help you write more? Why don't we find out together? Hi, I'm Sarah, and I help new writers find their creative confidence and boost their productivity. Today, I want to show you my new setup for a three by five little mini notebook and how I'll be using it to boost my writing and encourage my creative process throughout the day. So I recently just picked up this little uh, leather cover it's actually pretty nicely wrapped here. It's nicer than I was expecting. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. It's pretty, pretty nicely worn in there. I, I love the feel of this. Very smooth. Stitching seems pretty even. The fun part about a leather notebook cover for me is just the longer you have it and the more you use it and you know the daily wear and tear on it, it shows the signs of wear and it is proof that you are using your notebook and you are actually doing what it is meant to do. So in true Sarah fashion, I have got myself a giant stack of notebooks and um... I think I can fit two of them inside this notebook cover, so that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to grab the first two colors that I see because trying to open all of these, I will probably end up dumping some of them on the ground, and we don't want that. So let's go with a bright pink. Look at that in relation to the notebook cover. seems to be a good match um let's get a oh if i can just get my fingers into that stack these are very well packaged an orange pink and orange that should be pretty good i'm just going to wedge them on the inside of this cover so that one goes that's what it looks like with one of them in there seems kind of nice very nice. These are online notebooks, by the way. Since my daily carry notebook is a 5x8 college ruled, I thought something with a little less structure might be good for getting ideas out and encouraging little sketches. I've been wanting to sketch more, you know, little doodles and stuff in the margins for my ideas. Oh, I do like this. Now let's look at that. Doesn't that look fun? Don't you just want to carry it around and write in it all day? Like, wow. I am surprised. <laughs> I knew it would be good, but this is, this is very, very nice. I like how it feels. It's a good thickness, a good weight. And having two notebooks, one thing I like to do with my notebooks is use them front to back. So instead of just starting your notebook, you know, from page one and going through it, I'll usually start one section, say a category or a list or names or just, you know, whatever I want right here on this first section. And then I go directly to where the back of the notebook is and I start my second section. And if I know some of these sections are going to be smaller, Say for instance, it's a list of names or locations for a particular world. I will split the notebook in half directly at the seam and then start going one this way and then another section this way. So in that way, I actually get four sort of categories to use for each notebook. And with two notebooks in here, I can actually get eight. So I will be using this for the next, I've got 60 of those little notebooks there, so I guess I'll be using them until they're done. <laughs> and I will let you know how it goes as I use it in my weekly writing and planning sessions. And let's, uh, let's do a quick run through of the colors just in case anyone is curious. We've got the pink, we've got the orange. I think I've got roughly five notebooks a piece. So there's like 12 colors and at least I think it's colors. This is a very nice hunter green. It's um, 
not very dark, not very olive green. I would say kind of a mild dark green. Baby blue, cornflower blue. That's cute. Purple. Purple is definitely going to be my favorite. Ooh, a nice brown. This is pretty nice. It's very sleek, very unassuming. I feel like you could tuck that into a pocket and take it with you anywhere. It's far more subtle than the rest of these. Basic black, because why not? It's always a classic. Mm, blue, navy blue, maybe. I'd go with blue. Or maybe navy blue, because it's certainly dark enough. Lime green, frog green, green green. Red. Fire hydrant red. And here we go. Bright blue, like I'd say Robin's egg blue, maybe. Slightly brighter. And of course, good old yellow. So those are all the colors in this lovely little stack. 30 sheets. That's actually better than I expected. I like to write a little bit of something every day, so just like a short list or maybe whatever idea comes in or a one word prompt. I'm really big on prompt writing, so I think this will help me to keep ideas always flowing. And if I have something to just, you know, scribble the quick and simple little things in my head, and I'm not worrying about making it neat and nice to go inside a writer's notebook, I will probably get a lot more written. If you enjoyed this video and you'd love to see more writerly and notebook inspired content, check out my other videos. I'll catch you in the next one. Happy writing!